right? So triangle is the formation you see when long-term MA is going down while the short-term MA is going up or when long-term MA is going up while the short-term MA is going down. It's called a moving average triangle. So look at this chart. All right, basically when you see the moving average, you look for a perfect order because when it does, the market tends to keep extending towards that direction. And this is the basic way to use the moving average and take trades. So if you are relatively new to the Forex, I recommend to look for the perfect order and ride on the trend because moving average is created to capture the trend and you can ride on it to extend the profit out of the market as much as possible. However, in this video, what I want to focus on is when the market is not in perfect order. So look at this chart. These are the gold charts and on the right, it's one hour time frame and on the left, this is 15 minute time frame. So first, take a look at this one hour chart on the right. If you got it here, you can see that it just gold crossed here. So that means the market is bullish after this. So if you are buying somewhere down here, there is no reason to take profit because the market can keep extending towards upside after this gold cross. And if you don't have any positions after this gold cross, what you can look for is the buy chance. Never think of selling the, after the gold cross. So again, after the gold cross, the market kept moving up like this. Now look at the 15 minute chart on the left. In this 15 minute chart, uh, this low in one hour time frame is actually on this low in 15 minute chart. And as you can see on this 15 minute chart, the moving average started to be perfect order from here, right? Um, it didn't go cross, but from here, both the 200 EMA and 20 EMA points towards the same direction to the upside. So in this case, again, you only think of buying it. However, after this big bear candlestick right here, look at the moving average, the angle of the moving average. The yellow short term points to the downside, right? The red long term is still pointing up, but the yellow short term here is just started to pointing downwards. So that means the MAs are not in perfect order anymore. And that means the market can be in a range after this confirmation. And if you look at the one hour chart too, the yellow line here is slightly going down after this big bearish candlestick. So this is going to be another confirmation that the market will be in the range based on the one hour time frame chart also. Well, as I mentioned on the previously, the signal of MA is relatively slow especially when it's a bigger time frame and long term, it reacts slow to the market. So like at this place in one hour chart, when you look at the MAs, make sure to look at the candle close so that you know exactly which direction the MA is pointing afterwards, after the candle close, because if it's not close yet, the MA can point to upside if the closing candle ends up with bullish. So make sure to wait for the candle close is the key when you look at the MAs. So anyways, after this bear candle, the yellow short term MA both started to pointing down both in this 15 minute chart and also one hour time frame. And when it does, it's no longer the perfect order and the market start to be going up and down along with the short term moving average. And this is what I called the triangle range by moving average because if you look at the angle of the long term here in short term, it looks like a triangle, right? So this is what I call the triangle range by MAs. So how you can trade in this case is first you draw the lines and identify the support and resistance within that range. So if you look at this 50 minute chart, you can draw a support line here like this and also you can draw a descending trend line like this all right like this right so and as you can keep looking at the market you place a buy from the bottom and hold it until it hits the upper trend line 
or place a sell from the top and keep holding it until the price reaches to the support because in this case, the moving average becomes not so reliable. So this is how I usually trade. Again, I look at two moving averages and when they are pointing towards the same direction, I only look for a trade chance at the pushbacks or pullbacks towards that direction of the moving averages. However, when I find two MAs are not pointing towards the same direction, like when the short term goes down or sideways like this, I make sure to draw lines and focus on the price actions like pin bars or thrust up or thrust down to take trade candles, to take trade chances within the range market. Now let me explain how I create scenario after taking buy or sell. First of all, when I place either buy or sell, the initial target can be up to either lines. So let me explain the sell scenario first. Like when I place a sell here, at this place, the initial target can be at the support level right here. Right? And as I keep looking at the chart and when I confirm the MAs are gold crossing right here at this point, in this 50 minute chart, I will keep holding the sell or maybe I take the profit of one of the positions and keep holding the other one. So let's say I keep holding one of the sell positions and as I keep watching the market in this 15 minute chart, the MAs became dead cross and also as time goes by when the one hour chart also shows its dead cross, it's going to be further confirmation to keep holding the sell and keep extending the profit and I will take profit when the price actually touches at this recent high here at this level or when the short term MA uh, starts to point upwards like at around this place here right because this is going to be the confirmation that the MAs in this one hour chart are not in perfect order anymore so this is going to be uh, the take profit uh, target so that was my sell scenario. Alright, next let's think about the buy scenario. Again, when the price drops down to the support line here, I place a buy. Right? And in that case, the stop loss is going to be very tight. It's going to be right below the recent low, like at this price level. And there are basically two reasons why I place it here. Uh, one of the reasons is that uh, when I place a stop loss to the second recent low at this price level, the pips to the stop loss is going to be very wide in this case. And that means the risk is going to be very big and if you decrease the lot sizing, the reward is going to be relatively smaller, right? And that's one of the reasons why I place a stop loss here. And the second reason is because the long-term MA is still pointing up in this 15 minute chart and also in this one hour time frame, meaning the long term momentum is still bullish. So if the price breaks the recent low here, there's a possibility that the MAs are going to be dead cross next time and the price might break the 200 MA downwards and in that case, that changes the whole market momentum to the downside. Actually, in this chart, it broke downwards afterwards, but let's assume that I still don't look at the market momentum after placing a buy here. So in this case, this support line is very important and if the price breaks it downwards, then I will take the loss so that I can minimize the damage of the risk. However, if the market keeps going up along with the 200 EMA, then it might break the descending trend line upwards and keep extending upwards towards this way. So in that case, I might take one of the positions at the trend line and I will keep holding the other position until I see the moving average becomes triangle next time. That will be the buy scenario. So you see how I keep extending the profit as much as possible and take the minimum loss on each trade. This is basically what I call the trading edge because 
if you just place a buy or sell somewhere in the middle of the range, uh, first of all, your risk is going to be relatively bigger, right? And also, it's not really time effective because it takes more time to see the results. So whatever indicators I look at, whether it's the moving average or Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, this is basically how I trade every time in a range. Like when long term MA and short term MA are not pointing towards the same direction, basically I trust more on the lines and price actions and try to find the trading edge on the market. So after watching this video, make sure you open up a chart by yourself and show 20 EMA and 200 EMA and try to see where the perfect orders are and where the triangles are on the market. And when you see the triangle MAs, then draw lines and look at the price actions and try to get the possible edge on the market so that when you see the similar pattern next time, you can be ready to take trades. You know, on anything, it's easy to say but difficult to take the actions. But the wisdom and success comes only to those who actually take it into actions because there's no shortcuts or holy grails out there. It must be somewhere within yourself. So after the video, look at the chart by yourself and check what I've said earlier so that you know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you have any questions, just feel free to contact me or come to my live streamings or participate in Forex Group Mentoring so that you can keep track on what you are doing in day-to-day -day tradings. Alright, thank you for watching until the end. It's already towards the year end, so I really wish all the best on your tradings in 2020 as well.